Hi, I've been asked a few times how I do the cluster stitch for the blue shawl I'm making, the corner to corner shawl. It uses less yarn than a normal corner to corner and I'm loving it. I'm only a beginner, it's very easy. So I found this beautiful yarn, it was on sale, it's a Karen cake. So I bought two of these to make myself another one and I thought I would show you how I get started. So you can just uh, follow along, pause the video and have a go because it's a really, really easy and quick uh, stitch once you get going. So you start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over. Go back into that very first stitch right down the bottom. Yarn over. Pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, and you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go back through that very first stitch again, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, and you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through that very first stitch, Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. But because this is your first and last cluster in this row, this is all you do, you lock it with a second chain that's only on the last cluster at the end of each row. So I'll show you that um, in the other rows. Then you yarn over and go back into the same space where you were. Yarn over again, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over and pull it through two. So that's either called a double or a treble, depending on which country you're in. So we were working into that very first chain, that very first stitch on the last chain don't work into that chain that you did up the side. So turn your work. The beginning of every row you chain four. One, two, three, four. Then this chain space here right at the beginnings where we're going to do our cluster. Every cluster starts with a yarn over Go through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two and leave two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got three loops, one more, yarn over, go through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got four loops, yarn over and pull it through all four and a chain to lock it. So you've got one more chain space down here to work in for this row, you go straight into that space, yarn over, pull it through, Yarn over and pull it through those two to lock that, those two clusters together. Then the very beginning of the cluster we chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over, go into that same space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. You've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over. Put it through the chain space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got three loops on your hook, you need one more. Yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got four on your hook, yarn over and pull it through all four. And a chain to lock it. But because that is the end of the second row, 
because you've done two clusters, we'll lock it with a second chain. And then in that same space, yarn over, you go back into that same space where you did the cluster, yarn over again, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, and yarn over and pull it through two. So the double or triple that you've been doing. So we turn our work. So beginning of every row you chain four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go into that very first space at the front there. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. You've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, and you've got four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull it through all four, and then one chain to lock it. So you move along and find your next chain space, which is here. So we're just going to join that together. So you go straight into there. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over and pull it through the two. So now we'll start our cluster. Chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over, put it through that same space. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got two loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, Four loops on your hook, so now you yarn over and pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. <coughs> You've got one more chain space down here, <coughs> so you go straight into there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two. So we're going to start our cluster now in that same space, so chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over, go into that same chain space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Two loops on the hook. Yarn over, put it through the same space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull it through all four. Lock it with a chain, but because that was your last one in this row, we lock it with a second chain. Then yarn over, go back into the same space where you've been doing the cluster. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, and yarn over and pull it through again. So that was your double or your triple. So it's starting to grow. So turn your work. <coughs> and so this tail is going to be the bottom of your shawl. And we're basically working sideways. Here's your chain spaces along the top. So at the beginning of every row you chain four beginning of every other cluster you chain three and you lock it with one chain but at the very last cluster at the end of the row you lock the ch uh, cluster with two chain so I just wrote that down when I was learning because it just helped jog my memory so we'll do a couple more rows <coughs> chain four at the beginning of the row one two three Four. Yarn over, go into that very first space, yarn over, pull it through, 
yarn over, pull it through two, you've got two loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got three loops, one more, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got four loops, yarn over, pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. <coughs> so then you find your next chain space just here, you go straight into that, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two. So now we'll start our next cluster, so that's chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, go through that same space where you just started, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. The hardest part is remembering to stop, not continue taking off these into a double or a treble. So yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, take off two, you've got three loops, yarn over again, go through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got four, yarn over, pull it through all four, and a chain to lock it. There's your next chain space at the top up here. Go straight into there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two to bring it together. So start our next cluster, we chain three. One, two, three, yarn over and you make your cluster in that same space. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through. You've got two, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got three, yarn over, go through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got four, yarn over and pull it through all four. And lock it with a chain. So you've got one more cluster for this row down here. So go straight into there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two. Now we want to do our cluster in there, so we'll chain three. One, two, three, yarn over, we go into that space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got two loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, three loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. But because that's the last cluster at the end of the row, you lock it with two chain. Then you yarn over, go back into the same space where you just did the cluster, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, and yarn over and pull it through two again. That double or triple. So we turn our work I'll do a couple more rows for you, starting to sh take shape now. Here's, you're sort of working sideways, but here's the tail. This will be the very bottom, and it'll just work up and out as you go along. So these are your chain spaces along the top. Make sure you don't, act by accident, go back down into these ones, which you can do if you're watching TV or talking to somebody, and then you make a mistake like I do. So the beginning of every row, you chain four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go into that very first chain space. 
yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. Two loops, yarn over, through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got three loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through two, uh, four, or four loops, sorry, and lock it with a chain. So there's your next chain space. You go straight through there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through two, just to bring that together. Now we're going to do another cluster. Chain three. One, two, three, yarn over, we go back into that same cluster there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got two loops, yarn over, go into the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got three loops, yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, Pull it through two, you've got four loops, yarn over, pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. So you've got another chain space here, so you go straight into that, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two to bring them together. Start another cluster into that space, we'll chain three. One, two, three, yarn over, we go into that same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, we need one more, yarn over, into the same space, Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. You've got four loops, so yarn over and pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. You've got another chain space here, so you put it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two. So now you want to do your cluster in that space. One, two, three chain, yarn over, back into that space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got three. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over. Pull it through two, you've got four. Yarn over and pull it through all four. Lock it with a chain. So you've got your last chain space for that row on the end here. So you go straight into there. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Now we want to do our cluster into that space. So we chain three. One. Two, three, yarn over into the space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two, yarn over into the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, got three loops, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got four. Yarn over, pull it through all four and lock it with a chain but because it's the last cluster on that row we lock it with two chain. Then yarn over into that same space where you've been just working, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two and yarn over, pull it through two. So we'll turn our work and this is what we have starting to look and take shape. As you start to work 
faster and faster you get into a real rhythm. So I'll do another row and then you've probably got the idea. So chain four, one, two, three, four, yarn over, we'll work into that space, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, put it through two, you've got two loops, yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, put it through two, three loops, yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, put it through two, yarn over, put it through all four and lock it with a chain. Go along and find your next chain space, go straight into there, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, pull it through, two. Bring it together. Now we're going to start our next cluster. Chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over, work into that same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, into that next same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you need one more, yarn over, put it through the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through two, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull it through all four, and lock it with a chain. Find your next chain space, you go straight into there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over and pull it through two. Now we want to do our three chain, one, two, three, to start our cluster, yarn over, go into that same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, into that same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got three loops, yarn over, put in the same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, you've got four loops, yarn over and pull it through all four, and lock it with a chain. You've got your next chain space further along here, so put it straight in there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, and pull it through two. So now we want to chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over, go into that same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, into that same space, Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. One more, yarn over, same space, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over and pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. So here's your next chain space. You go straight in there, yarn over, pull it through, Yarn over and pull it through two to bring it together. Then we chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over, go into that same space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, put it through, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, put it through two, and you've got four loops. Yarn over and pull it through all four and lock it with a chain. So you've got one more chain space here. So we'll go straight into there, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two. Now we want to start our cluster, so we chain three. One, two, three. Yarn over, put it through that same last space. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. 
yarn over, put it through, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, put it through two. You need one more, yarn over, put it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through all four and lock it with a chain but because that's the last cluster at the end of the row you lock it with a second chain. Then yarn over into that same space where you just were working, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through two and yarn over and pull it through two. And so that is your turn your work. Always finish holding it down, turning your work. And so this is the start of your shawl, and that's your cluster stitch. So I hope you've got the idea. What I'll do is I'll end this video now, and you can just start it again. Um, keep going over, pausing it. And what I'll do is I'll make a part two where I keep going from this spot, and I'll just keep going if you'd just like to keep watching me. Um, working on it so you've got the real hang of it. But I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope it's made sense. So this is my first video really for YouTube. So if you like what I've done, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> if you'd like to see more of what I do, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to do a bit of my sewing on there and uh, just when I go out in the van I'll take my camera and just take some photos and films of where I go. So just some different things. So I'll be interested to know what you thought of my video. Thank you very much and I hope you all have a good week. Bye.